this is a card rating uh, I will give to the Pika to see um, what is her problem uh, is she um, having problems like uh, what do you mean uh, I will ask the cards if she has a problem spiritual problems that becomes medical witchcraft or uh, something to do with witchcraft curse in the family or it's just medical or genetics will ask and I feel so sorry about this I hear um, for the family uh, I hear um, sit my Shiva Dingam here in the front and I guess that Shiva is also great to see her and um, I will ask the cards because I've been asking the cards for years of uh, decades of my life living on this earth and as a shaman I don't really practice shamanism as much as I do with the tarot readings okay because it's very accessible the tarot is easy and you can do it online and like a shamanic you need herbs you need a uh, in-person uh, you need to touch a patient and also you need some music okay but right now um, I'll give a, a look so she is born she's a Gemini and she's a metal monkey in the uh, so here already cut three after I uh, shuffle the cards okay in the front of me are her picture you know I keep this secret so that nobody can you know identify her and if ever this you know will leak out so but uh, as part of this tar reading um, just just uh, take a look at okay I'll give it to the person in charge nobody will know this uh, give it to identity private and I will just ask uh, what kind of disease does she have is she a medical disease like that so the first card says uh, she's in trouble like this one so uh, she want to you know to get away from this problems as much as her sufferings in this life and then uh, worried about future she's also worried about herself you know she's in bad condition and in below him is a man might be his her father and also helping to get the fight father on the mother and the design here and I can see here the swords you know and the wheel of fortune you know they're well-to-do family and then uh, uh, the family is uh, have troubled traveled I mean they they it means that this person that I'm doing tarot reading will travel will travel so to to find a cure for her disease um and this is chariot there is hope so i'm asking you know i don't know like I'm just asking the tarot this is uh they're reading about it so uh when it comes to shamanism I really use the um, the ginger but when it comes to anymore I cannot touch a patient I am doing it online I'm do doing it through a video and uh, so I departed from shamanism and even in in person before I find it hard to use herbal so I use water as uh, I use pranic killing but now uh, I use the tarot in online and to see what it 
is saying, you know, what he's saying to me. So, um, with this, I will ask 13 cards. So, she's still hopeful. Still hopeful. The family's still hopeful, of course. She seems to be uh, suffering, but, you know, they have positive mindset, these people. You know, actually, that's also happened to me, you know. Uh, when I got sick, my mom, when I was, will do everything, you know, will do. But a miracle has happened because they never stopped from looking for a shaman or looking for a shaman, you know. Uh, and other psychic healers just to heal me for my, you know, so-called psychic attacks, you know. Because, you know, I saw... I never had this kind of uh, healing power without any sacrifices in on my part, and that's why I I uh, dedicate myself. I've been awakened spiritually, to also to help other people. If they have uh, problems, uh, I will gladly help. And here I can see here in um, a chart here. I'm in the cards, and uh, I'm later on. I will ask if it's witchcraft. It's just pure medical, or number three is just genetic. Okay. So here in this, uh, what I can see here is lovers, and you know, the, her love of uh, you know loved ones is looking far gazing far far to see the prospect you know the possibility of her to be healed you know like uh, this one a magician they want uh, you know to answer some of the questions you know because this is immune disease you know there's no cure for this it's just like uh, we will go into just cure it by a steroid or whatever but we're just attacking the 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 the, the the own system is attacking its, it, her own system is attacking her. So I have already uh, cured a lot of people, especially neurological and psychological, uh, psychiatric, even psychiatric disease with shamanism. But with the uh, immune system, I had not gone as far as that. But when it will be witchcraft, we will see because I can also feel, but if it's pure medical, it's genetics, maybe uh, I'm so thankful because even he's a doctor, still believe in these things, you know. But uh, what I mean to say uh, in uh, in the aspect of this, uh, as a doctor, you don't believe it. In a part of uh, psychiatry and mental illness, I believe because I have already... Uh, and paralyzed people because psychosomatic diseases and all of that psychological disease, psychiatric, they go in remission with shamanism. And uh, if it's witchcraft, there might be possibility that uh, we can, uh, or the curse, we can stop it, you know. And here, I can see also here in this part, uh, uh, the, the a man here. So probably the father is looking for a remedy, but unable to find, you know, he's the one who in, in sacrifice, but willing, willing to do everything and hopeful. You know, of course, if your daughter is in, in pain, you know, and in sickness, of course, sometimes I, we as doctors, we don't believe in such thing, unlike me. Before I become a doctor, I became um, a shaman first. So uh, that was uh, really uh, hard, you know, because the doctor will, psychiatrist will tell that a psychotic patient can hardly finish the, the schooling. And even if you will say it's demonic position or whatever, sorcery or witchcraft, it's really hard also for uh, a person to be, you know, uh, doing this thing like being a doctor, seven years studying because of the mental illness. How can 
So I able to overcome all of this because of the help of the powerful spirit, a miraculous spirit that is guiding me. Imagine. So I will make more videos about my journey later on so that about shamanism and even in demonic possession or demonic oppression because I don't believe in such thing as possession. I just believe in oppression for the Christians. But uh, we all have darkness. And if you really go to shamanism, these are part of the initiations that the, 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 the spirit is choosing the healer as part of uh, a shamanic ritual, you know. There are sacrifices because, you know, if you cannot go into deep sacrifice, you will never feel the pain. There's no empathy towards sick people. Just like me, I feel empathy more than money because uh, I've been through it. I've been mentally, I don't, I don't say ill, but some people would say that to me, you know, and I've been uh, a loving stock of, uh, I've been, you know, bullied and been a loving stock talk with a lot of people and nobody really you know loves me and so what I did if nobody will love me because of an uh, incident that came from my friends deserted me so I know this is like in the Bible like a job having that uh, leprosy and then everybody's leaving so I can feel that the same way when I got sick that uh, uh, nobody but God is very good to me that he made me a healer and so even there's nobody love me and I become very popular after healing people because God showed first his love for me by healing me and then I heal other people and even to the extent that he made me a doctor I graduated from medicine and you know my my mental is really capable and full of wisdom so uh, and I've been out for shamanic healing for several years but in tarot I am active online so this one is uh, they are uh, they are hopeful even though in the midst of uh, a very frustrating situation Sometimes before I, I said to Dr. Ayer that I will give to, I don't know how to, you know, to even to men, pronounce the name of the Indians, doctors. I really don't know that. But, uh, but uh, you know what? I cannot do anything. Uh, this one, if I don't have the right time. So I ask her. Uh, uh, to him, please uh, just give me time in, in privacy, and if I've got time, I will have uh, do it in silence and, uh, in my own private uh, ear. Here, sometimes you know, death, you know, when I was uh, you know, having a disease before mentally, mental illness, my mom said. You know, you see people that are blind, they don't want to die. But uh, because they have uh, quite uh, no depression and so forth, I've been through uh, antipsychotic medication for two years, you know. And so I know that there is a struggle, and sometimes, you know, you just want to, to die, but you can't. You need to be, because the author of life is not you, you know. And it's a God. So here, uh, another one, you have to, to find ways uh, still with this man. And then working hard is working hard. And he's a very competent person. But, you know, because of the situation, um, all of this I don't know because it also, because he is so weak when it comes to his uh, daughter. I know my might be, uh, um, is suffering too and here the justice and he, can, he, he cannot see you know sometimes he'll be very depressed here I'm gonna see so but sometimes he's a positive person yeah so
So, given inspiration, is still a positive person. What I mean to say. Open this one I'm just going to okay here this one you know um, he's trying to look for ways okay they they have but you know I think they may have looked for some other uh, ways to to give this treatment, but it's no avail. You know, fool. But uh, here, this is sickness. This is the card of sickness, and it's so fast deterioration. But you know, it will end. With me, there's a hope. Hmm? There's a hope. That's a judgment if we are, you know. You know, sometimes I really want to meet this person, I, uh, the Pika. But right now, I have her picture. And I'm praying for her. So whatever. And I will keep her. Uh, praying for her every day. So even I'm far, uh, I'm still do the Palo Santo, even the picture, and I don't want to show the picture because uh, uh, this is very private. Okay, I'll just put the Palo Santo and. Uh, okay. Okay, I will just continue my. on the I will take the Palo Santo out of the, the glass of candle because it fell there so it means that there is a positivity imagine this one had never died out treatment of her pictures that gives tremendous fire or the palo santo so sometimes i just want to do you know to do a, we just focus on the cards not to my face because so that you know, uh, but I hope that you can understand my English because we're both foreign and my accent is also Filipino. And here, uh, what I say here, this other card it says like all over the world, yeah, all over the world. Is looking for uh, treatment, and here is the uh, a woman here, and and then he is fighting. Oh yeah, that cause uh, there's a woman that is fighting against. You know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, got knocked off the, the video. I don't know why. <laughs> it's so funny because there's a woman that came out here. That I think this is a curse of a woman. You see, this, uh, I can see the devils. 
you know, tarot, so he's after him. So it goes to the daughter. So even, uh, I don't know, but I can see that, you know what, in the Philippines we have this Inseki Horde, that is the island where the witchcraft are there abound. And there's a lot of healers that are also um, healing all these kinds of witchcraft things, believe it or not, because uh, I wish that I can go back to, you know, my earlier life as a shaman or uh, I can, you know, do something here, even just a ritual. I'll just do a ritual for him. For her, I mean, and Deepika. Okay, this is our, the last of the Arcana that uh, I'm going to read. And here is, uh, yeah, you have families. Oh, yeah, you also, I think, you, you have a family here in the States, uh, the Ayer family. And, but he, he didn't want to come here. And here, another one is that... Uh, yeah, you, you, there's a possibility, the hope here, that everything here, that your struggles, you know, I just do not know. Okay, so for, for this tree, that you, because it says that it might be witchcraft, you know? And you believe it or not, that's what the card said. Okay, so the first uh, question of mine here in this card, I will be the one to proxy, is uh, the Pika, a uh, year will going to get well. This is a woman, Queen of Wands. They never say yes, never say no, but it's more positive. So, yes. And, um,. Uh, the second thing is that is this I uh, want to confirm it is a uh, witchcraft or a curse, spiritual, caused by a lot of uh, it's uh, bad. When you say this one is uh, uh, bad people, you have enemies, Mr. Ayer. It, probably a woman. Did you hurt a woman before? Did you broke her heart? And then I just don't want to say let is, uh, you know, I'm just kidding. And the third one is this genetic or medical issues purely. So you will just give all your money to, to science. You know, but I don't think this is purely medical. So it costs a lot of money. So you can believe that it's mute medical, but there is no remission. So it's really hard, okay? So that's all for today. But again, I will pick another card for just additional one to confirm again if uh, I will going to do a ritual tonight about healing her completely with the use of a ginger distance with her you know so three cards um, is this a witchcraft or uh, so we can hit bit means yes but you have to fast I think she's fast deteriorating my god so I think I feel so sad about them so sorry for all of this but uh, I will pray even uh, in a long distance here I will just do a ritual giving her sage and her picture pray for her and even visualize her so that my energy can reach India and totally heal her okay so this is my tarot reading to her and I will just like to I have the picture here and so goodbye.